And welcome to Legs Play, specifically Legs Play Live. I am Hardleg Joe, and this is YouTube Chat. Chat, say hello. Specifically, it's several of my patrons. There's some non-patrons up there, but this is mostly a Patreon hangout thing. If you don't know, my channel's funded mostly by patrons. Thank you for the $1.99 Super Chat Space Morgie. And I am using that to do something a little bit special. I had a Patreon request to play this game, Long Live the Queen, which is sort of like a, um, a simulator game. You've got to raise a princess to be a queen by choosing how she's educated over the course of, I think, a year or so. And depending on what kind of uh, skills you give her determines what kind of ruler she will be, whether she's effective or she gets murdered halfway through. There's a lot of uh, endings to this game that end with you getting murdered in, in bad ways. So uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting, especially because I decided that we would do what I'm calling it takes a village run. If you're unfamiliar with the old phrase, it's it takes a village to raise a child. So I am going to use the glorious chat or specifically, I'm going to be using my Patreon-only Discord. I'm going to be occasionally polling the patrons and seeing what they want to do, what kind of stuff they like. And uh, we're going to democratically raise this princess and, and hope that things don't turn out awfully because, oh boy, is there a, there a big chance that things are going to turn out awfully. Well, let's go ahead and start the game. I've read this intro, but that's it. Jocelyn, King Dowridge, Duke of Caloris. I assume I'm I'm the king. We're almost home. Your room is just the way you left it. Dot dot dot. I guess here's here's the first question for you, chat. What kind of voice do we give Elodie? I guess that's Elodie? We're just gonna call her Elo. Hello, hello, governor. Choppy chop. Well, what kind of voice do we give her? Do we give her like I'm a little British queen! Or, or do we give her non-traditional, less feminine voice? Do we make her sound kind of like critical? It's like, yo, what's up? I'm the princess. So chat, not chat, patrons, you decide. In the Patreon hangout, let me know. Should her voice be high or low? All right. It seems as if chat has spoken. I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors for every subject. You'll have to work hard this year to prepare yourself for your 15th birthday, but I know you can do it. You'll learn quickly and you'll make a wonderful queen. It's what your mother would have wanted. This is not what mother would have wanted. She would have wanted to die and leave... Oh. She wouldn't have wanted to die and leave me. I guess her mom's dead. No, she wouldn't. But sometimes bad things happen. We have to pick up and carry on. All of Nova depends on us. On you. Sigh. I will be there to guide you into your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up for you. Come. Your maids are waiting. It will, like, what's this little finger over the heart? Okay. Let's welcome to Long Live the Queen. If this is your first time playing, you should read a brief introduction of how this game works. I, I read this, but let's do it for the, uh, the, the, the chat. You will be controlling Elodie, the almost Queen Nova, Queen of Nova, as she tries to prepare for a coronation. To do this, she needs to take classes every week in order to raise her skills the skills she learns will provide different choices for the ongoing plot learning the right skills can mean the difference between life and death you also need to keep an eye on Elodine's mood with her mother's tragic death Elodie is not very happy right now aren't we all the mood button will take you to the emotion screen for more details as the emotions you know we got angry or afraid huh that's an interesting thing. Cheerful or depressed, willful or yielding, pressured or lonely. 
She's feeling both afraid and depressed, but her strongest emotion is depressed as she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression. Her strongest emotion other than that would be afraid. Her current mood affects her ability to learn. It will give her bonus to some skills and penalties to others. Let's take a look at the skill screen. La skill screen. That's a lot of skills. Skills are broken into four main categories. Social, physical, intellectual, and mystical. Inside these categories are skill sets, groups of three related skills. You start with zero in all skills. Every week, Elodie can study two skills. Normally, she earns two points in a skill every weekday that she studies. So if she studies history, she will earn two points times five days. That's ten points. Because she is depressed, she has a minus two penalty to social skill set, conversation. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation, she will earn two minus two points today, which is zero points. However, she has a plus one to expression. If she studies one of the expression skills, she will earn two plus one points, which means three points a day. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study skills you have bonuses for, you will learn much faster than normal. All of these bonuses and penalties will change with her mood. She can also gain bonuses to skills by studying related skills. Check the skills screen every week to see your current bonuses. Once you know your mood, skills, bonuses, and penalties, you are ready to choose your classes for the week. The classes spring breaks down by skill set by category for your morning and evening classes. When you select a skill set, the three options in the set will appear on the right side of the screen. Choosing a class option for both morning and evening, then right click done, yada yada. As you play through the story, you'll sometimes see feedback bubbles. These tell you what's happening behind the scenes. Bubbles like these will show you when her mood is being altered by events. Bubbles like these will show you when the story is changing based on what skills she's learned so far. If the test fails, there is some option being missed because she doesn't have enough points in that skill yet. The feedback is very helpful in figuring out different options to try, but if you don't want to see it, you can turn bubbles off in the preference menu. Now, get ready to become the queen! Alright, so we've got a lot of skills. Current mood, depressed. She has bonus to expression, animal handling. What's that, uh, ooh, mystical. What the hell is a lumen? So she gets a plus one to animal handling. She gets a minus one to athletics. Minus two to conversation. Minus one to royal demeanor. And everything else we're good at. So I wonder what's the first thing? I mean, we have animal handling and we have expression. Should we take our moment and try to do that? I feel like if it's, you know, just mathematically, we should work on the ones that we have pluses to at the moment. So let's go ahead to our classes. We'll take expression. Um, yeah, that was right. Expression. Gotcha. So decoration, instrument, or voice. Does she want to sing, play an instrument such as the harp or flute, or drawing, painting, arranging? I'll leave that up to chat. And then for the evening classes, we're going to do the animal handling. Horses, dogs, or falcons. So first of all, patrons, audience, let me know in the Discord. Decoration, instruments, or voices. And then horses, dogs, or falcons. All right, so we're gonna train the, the voices and the horses. Um, done. Week one. Voice increased by 15. You practice deep breathing exercise to build your ability to sustain a note. Oh. Walk around the stables, meeting the royal horses, learning about their breeds and names and different parts of their anatomy. What's all this noise outside? Who's there? Oh, it's my cousins and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we're so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You, you look nice, niece. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Lodi. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Your mummy said we'll be here all month. I'm sorry to anyone who's actually British. 
Yay, cheerful. Maybe we'll have some time to talk later. Now that you have finished studying, what will you do with your weekend? Oh? Talk to your father? Attend court? Plus one depressed, plus one pressure. Explore the castle, plus one to lonely and afraid. Why would I do that? Visit the dungeon, no effect. Visit Lady Monera. Attend service, minus one depressed. Play with toys. A walk in the gardens. Sneak out, be willful and lonely. Oh, it's minus lo Oh, no, yeah, it's plus lonely. Interesting. I want to lower our depression. Yeah, it seems, you know, if mom just died, we should probably attend her funeral, right, chat? Uh, that seems like a good thing to do. Extra afraid helps you with other stuff. You might find something if you explore the castle. Visit tomb, plus depressed, plus afraid. Max depression. Let's try that. You attend services in the castle grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't look that, she's still kind of depressed and afraid, but, you know, we're, we're fine. We have, we have, um, plus 15. Oh, does depression make us better at expression? It's not the best way to put things. We're better at agility. Oh, and faith. Because we went to the church, we have faith skills now. So yeah, I think we're going to continue doing just whatever is mathematically physical and mythical, and then I'll just have you vote. So if we do the um, athletics, was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, agility. Gotcha. Agility. Dance. Knowing the steps and carrying them out with grace. Reflexes. Your ability to respond quickly to surprises. Or flexibility. To stretch and contort without pains. Go ahead, what should we do? D, R, or F? Let me know. R, yep, it's like overwhelming reflexes. We gotta move like they do, chat. King Minor put flex, you mean reflex or flexibility? Okay, and then what was the other one? Um, faith. We're gonna be, we're gonna be holy. So meditation, divination, or lore. Um, where was that? So meditation, finding and maintaining your own inner peace. Divination is interpreting signs of nature for what the future might hold. And lore is the magical history of Nova. Lore. So should we tell the future? Should we learn lore or should we find inner peace? People, I got Yu-Gi-Oh fans, so I think they're, they're headed towards lore. Just get 30 points in reflexes. Another rank in reflexes. Ooh, I'm seeing three divination, two lore. Okay. Let's get some lore then. Done. Your teacher walks around with you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you at blocking those touches without triggering fear or fa <laughs> So he's, he's literally just like, Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. So bonus to being afraid. So if I'm more afraid, I'm better at reflexes. So maybe we do want to be more afraid. Only Lumen can channel magic, and only with the help of the attuned crystal. The ability to control a crystal seems to be inherited, so crystals can pass from parent to child upon the Lumen's death. Alright. What's the commotion outside? Father, what's going on? The Duchess of Ursul. I have come to pay my respects to your mother. You have no respect or honor. It's because of you and your powers that my wife is dead. What? 
I am a lumen, as was she, and like every lumen, I am willing to give my life if necessary to protect our domain. Your line has been traitors for 200 years. I won't have you corrupting my daughter. That is for the crown princess to decide. Elodie, your mother trusted me, and I have much to teach you. Um, send her away? Arrest her? Or let her stay? Um, well, if Dad says she killed Mom, I'm not sure if I trust no magical people. But if I let her stay, I could be magical, and then I could banish her to the hinterlands. Although, if she does teach me, she's probably just, like, good or something. I don't know. Once again, I leave it up to you. Send, arrest, or stay. Ooh, everyone's divided. We've got arrest, arrest, send, send, and three for stay. Okay, stay just barely. We'll let her stay, but she's on thin ice. One wrong move and the democracy will have her flung to the streets. I want to hear what she has to say. She stays, willful. Look at that face, she's, she's getting snarky. As you wish. All right. Willful and angry visiting the dungeons. Um, minus one afraid. Depressed and afraid. Lonely and afraid. Yielding to fest and pressured. Lonely and cheerful. Okay, so we've, we've re realized that I want to be I want to be afraid because that makes me better at dodging. The more afraid I am, the more I can dodge bullets. So I think we're going to explore the castle. Gain fear, even if it makes us more lonely. You wander through parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spider webs. Yuck. Okay, what's her mood looking like? Okay, she's pretty afraid. She's afraid, but willful. At last, she, sassy and afraid. It's not necessarily how it works. Okay, what are our skills looking like today? Um, ooh, we could reflex even more. And the faith is still up. So maybe we should learn more about... Yeah, let's just continue what we were doing, right? Classes. Let's just reflex and lore. Let's get it done. You practice solo tennis, hitting a ball against a wall repeatedly in order to train your hand-eye coordination. You may now play sports on the weekends. Yes. Long, long ago, the continents of Borealis were ruled over by a wicked witch king. Until a rival line of lumens challenged the crown. The resulting war went on for a hundred years with powerful spells that damaged the land so badly that even now no plants will grow. Interesting. He loves me! He loves me not! Is this hentai? I certainly hope not. Lottie, do you have a boyfriend? Not really. I just like to play with the flowers. All of a sudden, the Duchess of Ursul rushes into the gardens and points a sword at you. No, not at you. At your feet? <laughs> my god, she's come to steal my feet. She's a feet poacher. Princess, don't move. Hold still or look down. Well, we, we let her stay. We might as well do what she does, or what she says. Let's let's not move. Composure failed, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without peeking. You look down at where her sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass! You can't help it. You squeak and jump back. The snake tenses and prepares to strike. No! Your cousin pushes you aside and the snake's fangs sink into her leg. Lottie! Too late. Juliana swings her sword and cuts off the snake's head. What's going on here? Your daughter has been bitten by a milk viper. They're poisonous. Get her an herbalist right away. 
I will treat my daughter. I certainly can't trust anyone here to keep her safe. Oh, I'm sorry. Or, I'm sorry. I don't feel so good. Oh no, she's been snapped. We will be returning home to Mervyn immediately. Your aunt has a point. Milk vipers are not native to this area. The snake never should have been here. Someone may have tried to kill you. Will Charlotte be okay? I don't know. Well, good thing I had the dodging. Plus one angry for playing sports. Minus one lonely. Should I be angry and afraid? Yielding, lonely, cheerful. Lonely and cheerful. I think we just want to keep keep doing what we're doing. Right, chat? Chat, should we keep doing what we're doing? Go ahead. Well, I'll put it up to a vote again. Stay the course or try something new? I think we just want to make ourselves so lonely and afraid that nothing can hurt us. Yeah, I guess we need to be less lonely. Let's try sports. People seem to want something new. Affected by loneliness. You take to the court for a few games of tennis. Fill the thrill of competition. So what's our mood look like? Yeah, I think we need to cure our depression at some point. Need to be a little more cheerful. A little bit more. Oh, wait. Yeah, angry is the opposite of afraid. Okay. Oops. The Duchess is the one with the blue hair. Okay, gotta remember. Okay. I think we still want to keep on... Yeah. We'll keep doing that for now. One more thing of the classes, reflexes and lore. Let's see what we can get to. You practice running at high speeds back and forth over a small area, making quick turns and changes in directions. Legend has it that long ago, a horde of Yeveni on the back of a tentacled monster rode into the Valley of Mead, laying waste to all in their path. Their conquest was only halted when a Lumen raised a great flood to drown the invaders. Okay. The castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zephra and their parents gone. Certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. I was so worried about Charlotte after that snake bit her. But her mother says it's okay, so I guess it turned out all right. Poison test failed. Maybe she has a guardian angel. All right. So, we don't want to be afraid anymore. Uh, people were saying to talk to the Duchess, so let's go ahead. Maybe we'll learn some magic. What is it you wanted to teach me? First, I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. A lumen crystal? No. Hey, we learned the lore. It was useful. The royal crystal has been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now, except that the king may be keeping it from you. Do, do you have a crystal? Of course. She holds out her hand. Light flickers from her bosom, and then, with a shower of sparkles, something takes shape. You reach out to touch it, and it dissolves away into nothing. Oh. It belongs to me. No one can take it from me until I die. You need to find the crystal that belongs to you. Oh, okay. What's a little bit more willful? Is there anything that we get bonuses on for being willful? Um, animal handling, faith. Um. Yeah, I think, I think, what was they said? The skills cap at 50 until you get other ones. So, I think we should still try physical and mystical, but let's try some different stuff in them, right? Like, we've got our reflexes pretty high. Let's try dance or flex. 
Vote now, chat! Tell me what to do. Um, looks like people want flex tape, so we'll try that. And then meditation or divination. I feel like if we want to do, do magic, we should probably have meditation. A court is the other one. Oh, okay. Public speaking, gotcha. What do we need to be better at conversations? I assume we need to be happier, so let's try to get happier. Mood, yeah, we need to make her more cheerful, and then she'll be better at talking about stuff. Divination might have avoided the snake. But everyone else is saying meditation. Okay, meditation and flexibility. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body. Then you practice different types of motion available to each of your joints. Twisting, shifting, and rotating. You practice assuming a sitting position that allows you to be relaxed and tranquil without being so relaxed that you are likely to follow asleep. One of the maids approaches for your attention. My lady, quarters have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. <laughs> foreign intelligence failed. Foreign affairs failed. We have a Duke of Sedna? No, my lady, the Duchess of Sedna is in Talassi. They, they brought you a letter and a gift. Condolences to the death of, deeply regret, best wishes. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Court manners failed, cheerful plus one. Something sparkly will make me feel better. All right, so we need to make plus one cheerful. Um, willful but lonely. Okay, so we've got play with toys or walk in the garden. They both make us less lonely or more lonely, more cheerful. The difference is toys will give us yielding, which is the opposite of uh, willful. I kind of feel like we want to be a little more willful, like we don't want to give in to, to, to pressure and stuff. But again, I'll leave it up to chat. Toys or gardens? Gardens, 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 gardens. Yep. We're too big for toys now. We walk in the garden. A fresh air helps forget the burdens on your shoulders. Oh yeah, the necklace from the king. Yeah, remind me that for next time. Okay, so we're not depressed anymore. And decreases lonely. Um, not that lonely. Apparently pressured is the opposite of lonely. So we need one that increases pressured. Pressured and cheerful. Um, yeah, we're still... I mean, mystical still seems like the way to go. Mystical and flexible. We'll do one more, and then next time we can maybe change things up a little bit. You practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. You take slow, deep breaths, letting the air move through your body, feeling it give you life and energy. As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursul. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is the woman in the robes of the priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was it a service? Servant? A thief? Or an assassin? Climb up to look over the hedge, call the guard, run and hide. 
I mean, we've got some flexibility. I figure we could hide or climb up to the hedge. What do you say, people? Climb, call, or run? Our climbing is zero. Climbing is its own skill. Everyone wants me to climb, though. We're gonna try. We're willful, baby. Let's go. Climbing test failed. You run over to a statue and try to pull yourself into the pedestal, but it's too awkward to get your feet in place. By this time, whoever you saw has probably gone away. Well. Never mind, call. Uh, let's see. This makes me pressured, which gets rid of the, uh, depressed. Wait. Oh, okay. So pressured, but depressed. And yielding. So we want to get pressured. So do we attend court or do we talk to our father? Everyone wants to talk with the king. Okay. I want to be like you, dad. Dad, what happened to mom's lumen crystal? It's in a safe place. Can I have it? No. But it's mine! Willful. Meddling with magic killed your mother. I don't want that to happen to you. Once you're crowned queen, I can't stop you from doing anything you want. But for now, you're still a child. Well, that didn't help. I just got more willful. Which, I mean, I guess is kind of good. Okay, chat. Let's see. People have been saying we should start working on our conversation regardless. Or at least the one guy in chat who's not a patron, but still wants to play the game, is telling me to get manners up. Um, I still think we should continue to work on our physical stuff. Maybe get one more flexibility or met... Okay. So, if you're a patron, then you gotta say something on the Patreon. So, okay. Hmm. Manners, please. I want manners. Where is that at? Court manners? Okay. So, court manners and then uh, flexibility or meditation. We can only choose one. Meditation. Okay, manners and meditation. The two, the two um, M's. You review the correct greetings for incoming guests according to rank and where to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. You close your eyes and visualize the crystal ball floating in front of your eyes. Your meditation is now 50. You may not increase this until your other faith skills are 25 or higher. Gotcha. As you're walking up the stairs, a maid comes running down holding a towering pile of linen. You swiftly step aside to let her pass. Reflexes! Qua! I don't fall down the stairs and die. We did it. Um, we really need to get rid of our, our lonely, right? Oh, wait. Sports makes us minus one lonely. Is that how it works? Attend court. Sports. Yeah, sports will make us less lonely and less afraid. I guess we need to do that. We'll do sports for now. Feel the thrill of competition. <gasps> okay. So we can't really increase our mystical hardly anymore. Unless divination goes up. We could try to do lumen stuff. Um, or we just want to... Okay, so we can't get our physical stuff up until our dance goes up. Manners and dance. Yeah, that's what someone's saying. 
That seems like a good way to go. More manners. And, um... Dance. Dancing, dancing, dancing! Or maybe sense magic and we can find the crystals. Wait, is... Uh, Lumen. Oh, is Lumen not an option? We don't have Lumen classes yet. Sense magic. Yeah, we don't have the ability to sense magic. So we could do divination if we want to just keep going in faith. So we'll do that. Do you want to do divination and try to increase our, um... Oops. Oops. Try to make it so we can increase our faith, be really mystical, or dance to increase our physical. Dance or divination? Which one are we doing? So let's just do one divination and more court manners. As a person of highest ranking within the domain, no one may sit at any formal event unless you give them permission, and no one must ever turn their back on you. If they do, you are intended to recognize the insult. Dropping your favorite plate is bad luck. A statue spontaneously shattering is a bad omen. Learned the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. Interesting. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 Lassie to assemble the metal in the factory and mold and cast the type. With this system, we'll be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it would take and make copies to send all over the world. Production trade failed. I don't really know much about factories or trade. Would this really be worthwhile? We are not interested. Oh, I don't even I don't even get to be like books. Yeah, books would be good. I just I just have to say no because I don't know anything about anything. Okay. Um I mean, yeah, just attend court, right? People have been saying attend court for a while. Sitting in court is not fun at all, but it pleases your father, and it may be important. Okay. So we're not lonely anymore. We've got a nice little, got a nice little linear line here. Um, so now that we're pressured, what, what new skills are we good at? Pressured makes us better at... Conversation? All right. Conversation and expression. We're not pressured. We're still afraid. Oh, okay. We need one more court session. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I figured we might as well divination one more, right? We've been afraid for weeks now. Um, or should we get dance to just round out our physical skills? I think one dance is a good idea. Yeah, we'll get one dance. Just to round out the physical sp skills. And then I'll let you choose between, um... Yeah, we want to do... Okay. Speaking, flattery, or divination. Choose wisely, chat. One of those three. Okay, time to dance. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking around the floor in a graceful manner. You read about well-known... Okay, you read about signs that have pre presaged famous disasters, such as the seas running red before the Doom Shadow fell upon Nova 200 years ago. You unlocked a new outfit. Hey, I got a new outfit. That's pretty neat. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I, 
sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Thanks, Banyan. But thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ixonite occupation of the country of Imbirium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push them back. Born a face. I know there's been some problems with Ixium, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. Military failed. I don't know anything about the military. I don't want to fight. There must be a peaceful way to settle this. I'll send for diplomats from Exium and try to come to some agreement. Uh, thank you, your highness. Your highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then you have arrangements with him? Court manners success. He's asking if I'm engaged to the Duke. I think I just like jewelry, right? Like, we didn't know this was a thing when we got it. Right, chat? Or are we considering it? Don't want to pen ourselves in. Not yet. Not at all, willful. There we go. But I appreciate presents, doesn't everyone? If you say so, your highness. There we go. Okay. Um... Only the strongest survives. So if we go to court again, we'll get pressured, and that's we want to get pressured, right? So we're less afraid. Yeah, let's try it. Sitting in court session is not fun, but it pleases your father, yeah. There we go. What's our new outfit? Priestess rubes. Bo boosts faith. Yeah! We'll be a cleric before too long. It's not the opposite of afraid. I thought if this one got higher than afraid, then it would supersede the emotion. Ah, oh, look at all my mystical stats going up. All right. Fused with God to rain down on the land. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, not quite. We've got one more day of being afraid. We might as well boost our stuff, especially now that we got mysticism. Uh, let's get our dance up above 25 and then just choose mediation, divination, or lore. Well, no one there is saying. They're just saying to do reflexes. So I guess we're going for lore. Someone in the thing wanted more lore. Okay, you begin practicing dance steps in time to music. Quick and slow, turning and weaving. You unlocked a new outfit. 200 years ago. Oh wait, this is a lot. Legend says the island domain of Milani was once a single island instead of a cluster until an invading Novan queen raised a terrible pillar of fire that shattered it into pieces. At the height of the empire, all the major dukes and duchesses were lumens and they conquered their enemies with beams of light. These monsters eventually broke loose, killing their captors and destroying the old capital, resulting in chaos that shook ah, the breaking of the world. 200 years ago, a great force of darkness covered Nova, threatened to wipe out all life in the domain, took the self-sacrifice of the queen and her complement of lumens to defeat the doom. Only the Duke of Ursul refused to join in their defense and therefore survived. Neat. The representative from Axion is here. Be careful, no one wants to give up prizes they have won. You have the full support of my sister and myself, your highness. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Novan history failed. Your Royal Highness, thank you for granting me this audience. I am sure we could come to an amicable agreement. Let bygones be bygones. No, we will forget about the unprovoked attacks on us, and you will transfer the rights to this little province. Foreign affairs failed. We could be good neighbors again without any lives being lost. Foreign intelligence failed. <laughs> Surrender province. Offer money. Bluff slash intimidate. Or execute him. Seems like a pretty hefty decision. Once again, I leave it up to the, the brilliant democracy. What do you say we should do? Seeing slightly more execution. So, uh, 
yeah, we're not to be fucked with. And here you have our answer. Off with his head. Ship that back to Ixium. If they know what's good for them, they'll get out of my way. We did it. Kill everyone in war. Uh, what's our mood like? Well, we're not as angry anymore. Well, now we need war. Yeah, probably. We could probably get more angry. I think we just need to increase angriness. Either that or talk to the Duchess. What do you say, chat? Sports or Duchess? Maybe we can learn more about stuff now that we're super mystical? I want to cheer without increasing lonely. Yeah, I guess this... Make less depressed. Instead of any of the ones I did, let's attend the service! It's our new outfit. Tutu boosts agility. Fast and furious Tokyo Drift. Look at that, we could dodge anything. That's probably for the best if people are going to be attacking us at the moment. Um, okay, so we can finally do stuff with Royal Demeanor. We're not very good at that. <laughs> we have no intellectual skills. So, but we should probably take the moment to do something with the royal demeanor. Composure, elegance, or presence. I feel like if we're going to be doing war, we probably need some presence, right? And probably some military st stuff anyway. Let's see here. Royal demeanor, yeah. Ability to bear pain, fear, and surprise without flinching. Be beautiful and dignified. An aura of confidence and command. We'll need that if we're going to lead. Elegance, since we already have dance. I mean, we can get all three. I, th I feel like presence is probably more important. So yeah, intrigue or military? We'll start with that. Which one? Intrigue or military? Looks like Intrigue is slightly more, okay. And then Internal, Foreign, or Cypher. I guess Foreign Intelligence, yeah, it does seem like the best. Kinda need to know, if we're gonna be fighting war against people, we should know Foreign stuff. Okay. You practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in the mirror. Young as you are, you are queen of the blood, your mother's daughter. You are a force to be reckoned with. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considering a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talasi. You receive a report on the outcome of the battle against the Ixenites. You succeeded in driving them out of Marie, but it cost you almost a full battalion of soldiers and a great deal of materials. You lost 1,032 soldiers. One angry... The Duke of Mary will be happy, but we could have done better. You also receive a letter informing you from Talaris. The Duke of Sedna will be arriving next week. All right. Oh, I can tend a ball. I'll be depressed and pressured. <laughs> um, I think we need to be more willful, right? But everything makes us lonely. Sneak, sneak, okay. You sneak out of the castle for a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but father won't like it if he finds out. Wait, what am I again? I'm depressed again! Damn it! Why am I always depressed? Um, okay, so depressed just keeps things up. Gotcha. Um, I 
Let's see. I mean, do we want to do more physical while we've got it? What outfits do we have again? We have the priestess robes. And the, the tutu. So we could learn more about mystical stuff. We really want to get max divination. Find out the future. And then I feel like, what, more foreign affairs? Probably need more foreign affairs. I mean, the war is over, so we don't really need the war stuff. But we should probably learn more foreign affairs, right? I'll learn a little bit about foreign affairs. Why not? All right. You're reading about King Latmer and how he was destined for greatness when he saw the shape of a crown in a spider's web. Read about animal omens, in particular flights of birds. You study the relationships of Nova and its nearest neighbors. The borders have been mostly peaceful in recent years, except for the problem with Ixion to the south. Trouble may be viewing in Pryrus as well. Oh, your highness, what a pleasure it is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. Oh, you sound kind of like my dad. Giggle. Flattery failed. I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. I was so pleased to hear that you accepted my humble offering. A jewel for a jewel, but you are more precious. I hope that this is only the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. A union between us would bring stability to both our empires. He really does want to marry me. What do you say, chat? We're pretty dumb. We could probably just stand to get married, right? <laughs> it'd probably it'd be beneficial for both of our, uh, our, our agencies. What do you say? Accept or decline? Accept, accept. Sure, let's do it. Cheerful and willful. <laughs> LD, your grace, are you not aware that my daughter was only 14 summers? It's my decision. A betrothal only, of course. There's no need for hurry. You have the coronation to plan for, after all. If I might serve us in any way, please send me. I'd be happy to offer my protection or advice. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. Okay, we should probably talk. Uh, what's our mood? We're willful. Okay, willful should be interesting. Let's go talk to our aunt while we're willful. Maybe she knows something more about magic. My father says they can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll have to wait. There may not be time to wait. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the powers of Lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you've bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do then? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. <laughs> um, Try to find a way or what drastic action? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have the skills to find stuff, but drastic sounds like something a willful young girl would do. I'm willful. You want to be a little drastic, chat? I mean, we did just get married on a whim. Try to find a way. Okay. Everyone's telling me to be a little less drastic. Let's... All right, I'll try to get... Oh, I'm willful anyway. Yeah, look at that smirk. She's sassy. Okay, what skills do we need to try to find a way? Um... Our intrigue is up, and our military. So, intrigue. Once again, I, F, C, let me know which would you like to see. Alright, looks like ciphering people want. And then for the military, strategy, naval, or logistics. So, S, N, L. It's live from New York! It's Saturday night! Da 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 da! Da 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 dab 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 
Guess I'm the tiebreaker. Oh, nope, logistics. Okay. Let's logistics! You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order. The simplest of transpositions, which anyone literate can puzzle through in a try, but sometimes useful to hide information. Um... Wait, what? Letters have been arranged in reverse order. G-H... Git... What? C... E... Um, in plain sight. Oh, this is supposed to be one word. Oh, and there... Okay. Gotcha. So it's in plain sight, but the letter... The, the, the spaces are different. Gotcha. See? that? There you go. I've learned better than I thought. Learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march, and how long they will remain edible. Good to know. You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and requests the mercy of the crown. Your Highness, the slattern dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Uh, which sister was it? Because if it was Carol, I understand. Now, Coruscade, the Duchess of Mead. Is she all right? Novan history failed. She is unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spew. Well, what do you got to say for yourself? It's just as it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me ma'am's heart. Lie to her they did. When she went to see why'd she not come back, said she'd gone for a soldier when she never would. Wait, um... He weren't the only one neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get me own back. That's justice. She's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. Eternal affairs failed. I don't know, but either way, murder is a serious crime. I mean, yeah, I should probably, I'd say the, the woman is right. Hard to say, I don't know anything about internal affairs. What do you say though, chat? Work in prison or execute? I mean, if we put her to work, there's always a chance that we can, um, you know, if, if we find out later she was right, we could bring her off of work. If we prison or kill her, she's probably just done for. I guess this is a right-to-work state. This woman failing in her goal, she harmed no one. I do not require her life. If she is kept away from your sister's court, she will no longer be a threat. You're going to forgive her? I'm indenturing her, not pardoning her. She will serve as heavy laborer in Northern Ursul. She should be made an example of, drawn and quartered in the public square. I have spoken! God bless you, miss! But you're, you're still gonna hard labor in the, the Russian Alps or whatever. Um, okay, what's what's my mood looking like? We need to be less depressed, right? What's something to make it a little more cheerful? Got a little more cheerful going on? Oh wait, the treasury! We could visit the treasury and try to find the thing. We should do that, right? Oh, this will make us cheerful and angry. Or should we try to get our... I don't know what skills we need to get the treasury. I feel like we might fail if we went now, but we also might not have much time. What do you say? Dungeons or treasury? Either way, it's going to be an adventure. We either get dungeons or treasure. I mean, what's not to like? Yep, a lot more people saying, visit the treasury. Accounting failed, presence failed. They won't budge. Harumph! Okay, so what was it? We need accounting and, um, budget? Oh, accounting or presence. Well, we can't do, pr wow. We're not good at either of those right now. We really need to change our mood. 
What would make us good at economics? It's time to be... No, I think we already wanted to work on presents, but what makes us good at this? Being cheerful? I think we need to be cheerful. For now, let's continue on the military intrigue. Yeah, let's go ahead. Just the same thing we've been doing. Um, you practice shifting substitution ciphers, where each letter is replaced by one of the few steps along with the alphabet, so that cake and pie becomes Fidendigisu. You practice random substitution ciphers, where the normal alphabet is replaced by one in a jumbled order. This is harder to decode, but most people need a written substitution chart to read or write, and that chart can be lost or stolen. Study different kinds of transport, wagons, animals, and ships, and different equipment and such. As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. Divination. An owl in the daylight and a dead leaf. Someone important will die in the next few months. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There are reports that a key throng has been sighted leaving the old forest. The old forest? That's the area with Catherine Lake where the capital was until it was destroyed by monsters. What's a key throng? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak, and spikes on its back. Eek! Several disappearances in southern Calaris are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do? Should we send the hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest. I can see, I can see why we're not very popular. Hunters are no match for such a creature. You would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people then? Everyone dies eventually. Plus one depressed. <laughs> Everyone dies eventually. Okay. Um... Current mood, Willful. So Willful does not make us... We need to be more yielding. Um, and Court makes us yielding. It also makes us depressed and pressured. And that'll make us too depressed, maybe. But we don't have anything else to make us more yielding. And we need to be more yielding. Um, yielding, lonely, and cheerful. Um... Yeah, that'll work perfectly. Play with toys is a good mood. Spend the weekend holed up alone in your room with your favorite toys. It's childish, but you feel better. I'm still willful, but I'm getting there. We need to be more cheerful so we could do other stuff. In the meantime, uh, yeah, just continue what we're doing. Intrigue and military, that seems like a good... Oh, wait! We can, we're high enough in the social stattering that we can do, what was it? Oh no, we can't. We need a uh, composure. We can start working on the social skills though. What do you think? Should we start doing some social stuff or should we continue with our intellectual? I think we have the higher numbers on it, so we should just do that while we can. We'll get eventually these up. Um, we probably want internal affairs or foreign. Ciphering, I don't feel like it's going to be that much important. Plus, we've already got it high. We have known in internal affairs. Let's get that while we can, right? So, like, internal affairs and... Um, should we keep on logistics? Or do a little strategy? Put L or S. Are you enjoying the game? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's something I could probably play on my own and get all the, the endings and everything. One last logistics. Okay. Until you have children of your own, the maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the throne. And after that would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. I see. You learn about the support costs created by support. The more equipment you have, the more people and animals needed to move them, and the more people and animals needed to be fed and equipped. 
It's expanding. Remember, the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. A grand ball? They will be dancing. As queen, you will likely be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you're not yet crowned, it is not required, and you may not be safe to expose yourself to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now and decide later. Will the Duke of Sedna attend the gala? It is a traditional Novan event. Inviting your fiancé might be seen as a statement. Conversation failed. Do I invite him or not? People are divided, but it looks like there's slightly more don'ts. Plus one yielding. Maybe some other time. There's a letter for you as well. It's from Bryony. Went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently her uncle Kevin is absolutely furious about that woman's trial. She's bored and looking for adventure. Well, I don't have any to suggest for her. Okay. So, we need to be... Need to be more cheerful, right? Is there anything that'll give us more cheer? Is there anything that makes us... Oh, cheerful and angry. Oh, but we're already... Okay. So, we'll do toys, and then we'll do dungeons. We're an angry girl. Bonus to weapons and military. Penalty to royal demeanor. Damn it. That's what we need is the royal demeanor. Um, okay. So yeah, we need to be more... We need to be afraid and cheerful. That's going to be hard to do. Um, but while we're angry... Our military is way up. Might as well do that. And we can train with weapons, finally. Want to add some weapons? Let's do some weapons. Let's do regular strategy. And what should we learn? Swords, archery, or pole arms? I'm seeing more pole arms than archery. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> you learn a variety of long weapons from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd and the glaive. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. Today is the procession and planting for the Festival of the Good Lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you don't have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. The people will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Um, I think we'd rather not go, right? Like, we have some dodging skills and some polearm skills, but... Oh, you want to try to dodge the archers and at least lead the parade? That might make us more cheerful. No way we're making a speech. Parade, but no speech. Yeah, we could try that. Parade, parade. I love a parade. I like to lead in the parade and let's go. Cheerful, willful, pressured. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but uh, you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. Decoration failed. Elegance failed. And plant a new tree. Then the life is blessed and the attendants join in song. They regroup at the castle. Well, we survived. We're still angry. But we could tilt it in any way. So if we make ourselves cheerful just a little bit. Cheerful without getting more angry. We just gotta try that and hope it doesn't make us too pressure or too lonely. More toys! Toys, toys, toys! How do you like me? How do you like me? Hey, I think we did it! We're cheerful! Finally! We can work on our presence and our courtly manners or our public speaking. So presence. 
work on our presence and P, C, or F. Which of the classes are we doing? I invoke the democratic rights of the people. Whoa. I think lonely will be for the demeanor. So we want to be more lonely and that'll help us work on our demeanor. So if we can get more depressed and yielding and afraid, that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, let's do it. You stare at yourself in the mirror and practice focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze on and off at will. You study the rules for formal dining, including the proper utensils for different dishes. As the queen, no one will comment on your mistakes, but they will notice them. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domains are here to see you, to see their queen. Gulp. You finish dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Presence failed, elegance failed, composure, decorum. You want to run away and hide, afraid and pressured. Force yourself to carry her on, but you're sure they see you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for us. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kegel alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. But put him already betrothed to the Duke of Sedna. That does not bar you from dancing. Court manners failed. Dance with the suitors or refuse. I feel like it's good to make them sweat, you know, dance with other people. Although they might try to kill me or something. I do have good dancing skills. I mean, we've got the dancing skills, right? We might as well use them to dance. We must dance. You look around at all possible partners, which is to say everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whoever you want and will not be denied. Someone your age, someone younger than you, someone older than you, someone already married, someone scandalous. If we pick someone already married, then it won't offend because it's not saying like we're, you know, we're, we're not trying to pick out a new suitor. Either that or someone younger than you. Because I'm already, so dancing with another kid, you know. Although they might, they might make us look bad because they're probably not a good dancer. I say someone already married. Let's try it. You don't want everyone assuming that whoever you picked first is your intended marriage partner. So what better way to prove it than by choosing someone who's already married? Exactly. With that in mind, you approach Erwin, the Earl of Ishtar. He's old enough to be your grandfather and his wife is right there with him. He seems startled by your approach at first, then thoughtfully accepts your hand with a kindly smile. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Dance, partial success. You've been tutored in dance, of course, and yet your partner. It is simple enough to move through the motions without misstep. Between the dances, there's time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. Portly man. You notice that Fabian, the elderly Earl of Titan, is not looking entirely well. Could this have done something with the omen the owl brought of death and disruption? Fabian is the father of and regent for Adir, the young lord of Eleth. The boy is only twelve, years too young to assume his full title. <laughs> Tragedy has been common visit to Illith's line. His mother died in childbirth, and her mother and sister died when Kayla herself was a very young girl. If Fabian dies before Aldar is of age, there will be a succession crisis. I, we don't know anything. I don't think we should say anything, because we don't know enough about history. But again, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. This feels like Disco Elysium. Poor lad.
talk, say something, say nothing. We know nothing but divination. True, we do know divination. Maybe we could tell him that death will come. Public speaking, court. <laughs> Lord Fabian, can we talk? You don't look so good. And I'm worried what will happen to Alder if you die. He stares at you and you realize that you've spoken too bluntly for politeness. Some of my family would claim that I've already lived forever and could continue to do so. But the mornings do grow colder. I hope to see Adir become a man, but I know it may not happen. I know she's no blood of his, but I say leave the boy with her eyes and her blood and Lilla. The youngest three is near enough to Adar's siblings. Adele especially, she dotes on him. My other children are too old. Adar's never known them, and his grandfather. Well, he and I will never settle down. It is who should have known better, and it's too late now. Still, I would never trust him with Kaylee's son. He pats your hand. Good little girl you are for thinking of me. What will come will come. He runs, is running up to his father. Dad, I got punch on my shoes! You leave them to deal with this problem. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant thumber, fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear notes ring out through the room. If I may have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her bravery and courage keeps our borders defended. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take an opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwenel, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the duchy of Duchess of Lilla and a fierce sportswoman. She was a few years ahead of you in school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. No Bryony, she'd said that her parents were leaving her stuck at school for the season. Her parents are here, dancing together, the Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course, it would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. Sense magic failed. It's nice that they enjoy time with friends and family, isn't it? Well, we survived the ball. Um, we need to be more yielding, though. Um, yielding, depressed, and pressured. But this will give me double the yielding. So hopefully that'll help me make better at court. Mood yielding. We did it, chat. Finally, we can increase our presence a million fold. <laughs> um, and probably our history looks like the other thing we're probably good at. So oh, we'll increase our presence and uh, Novan history, foreign affairs or world history. NFW. Tell me what to do, O oh divine right of kings. Yep, okay, world history. Practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic and let the energy flow. You plant your feet in a strong stance, imagining that you are a tree deeply rooted in the earth. You can feel that power within you and know that you will not be pushed aside. You look at the globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever hearing about them, and other areas left blank because no explorers venturing there ever returned. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You are too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren. Not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noblewomen go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. Composure. How dare she make a move on your father? 
Shame her with silent scorn. Insult her with false flattery. Trip her as she passes. Shame, shame. Okay. It's democracy. You meet with eyes and imagine your mother's disapproving presence behind you. Presence failed. But I have so much presence! Darling Elodie, I hope you've been well. Fine. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. She gives a little wave and exits. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. This is the path that you have set on us. What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about your preparations for the future. Caloris needs an heir. Your brother, your uncle Armand, is looking for a wife as well. One of us, at least, must produce more children. But, Mama... Nothing can replace your mother, but we all have things to do that we don't want to. Depressed. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need goodwill of the nobles as well as the commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you at all times. Isn't that exactly what I have agents for? Yes, but you must give them directions. What is your greatest concern? Noble plots, commoner uprising, foreign threats, assassination. I think foreign threats at the moment. I did assassinate that one guy, right? It's probably the most. I need to know if any foreign enemies are moving against me. As you wish. Okay. We're still yielding. Should we try the treasury now, or do we need, like, 50 of the thing? We have quite a bit of presents, but do we have enough presents? Either way, if we don't have enough presents, right, then uh, we don't really want to ruin our uh, stats as they are. Presents. Partial success. They waver slightly, but at the end they stand by your father's commands. All right, I just need a little bit more presents. Damn it! Now I'm angry. Fuck! Damn it. Alright. Um. What do you say, chat? Weapons or military? Choose wisely. Victory at sea! Alright, let's do it. You practice your tongue-twisting sequence of syllables to improve your enunciation. You learn that the sea is not something you hold, it is something you travel across. Naval strategies ensure your free travel while denying it to your enemies. It is time of the year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there's always some room for discretion. I don't know anything about the budgets. Uh, raise taxes or lower taxes, baby? I don't know. I didn't make myself look foolish in front of the people when we tried to do that whole uh, ceremony, so I think maybe lowering taxes. We lost money in the war. Yeah, I guess. Sure. We need more money. Raise the taxes a bit. As you wish. Okay, so we need to be more yielding, which means less angry. So, or we could just do more yielding, right? We'll attend court. Court is in session. Haha, -ha! we might be too yielding. But that's fine, we've got huge bonuses. Um, One more to presents, let's get it to 50. And what else do we get while we're yielding? History? Yeah. And... What do we got? Let's learn some Novan history. We haven't done that yet. Why not elegance? Because we just need presence to get through. You'll only receive 7.2 points. Yeah, but we do we have enough time to, like, raise elegance twice and then raise presence once? 
don't know. I guess you could vote on it. C, E, or P. Composure, elegance, or presence. Vote now, almighty chat. And it looks like composure has won. You practice deep breathing exercises. Maintain your sense of inner calm. Read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Noble was the center of a great empire, spanning the length of the western coast. Over time, your influence has waned. You're requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that you might set him free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, Majesty! Was it my fault? Demons made me do it! Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me and twisted me fingers into chains. My wife found me screaming, tried to shake me, and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again. Sense failed. Demons can make you attack people? Is that even possible? I don't think they turned his hands into chains. That sounds like some old bullshit. Execute him? We haven't executed people in a while. I say execute him, but again, it's not up to me. Tud and King Miner and Vati all say execute. Off with his head. I don't care whether they were demons or not. You're still a murderer and your life is forfeit. You'll be hanged in public as a deterrent to future criminals. He opens his mouth to argue, but his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. We did. Uh, we're still yielding? Right? We probably want to be a little bit more lonely. A little bit more afraid. Let's explore the castle. Okay. Let's go elegance and world history. I think, right? No, foreign affairs is the one we know the least about. Let's do that. Both to 25. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Just cover our bases a little bit. Practice walking along a narrow rail, taking each step carefully and focusing on your balance. Four years ago, the Duchess of Helenus tried to foment an insurrection by the northern Ixin, just over the Galabin River. Not only did that fail, but in retaliation, Ixin pushed troops out of southern Marie. Receive word of an unfortunate incident to the gallows, where the man you judged was sent to be executed. As he was led to the platform, he suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors of a secret cabal of evil lumens who sacrifice innocents in their dark rituals. Well, you know, I was wrong, but, um... That's fine. Let's go to court. I'm probably too yielding. But that's fine. We got so many bonuses. Yeah, let's... Yep, let's just do it again. Should we be writing this lore down? Um, practice walking with books on your head. You practice an elegant way to hold and sip from a teacup with your pinky slightly extended. Tombula to the north underwent a peasant revolution shortly after you were born. The nobles either fled or were killed, and the new rulers so far refused to establish diplomatic ties with Nova. They're not friendly, but they're not enemies. Talasse, which is cordial relations, yada yada. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan, and Duke Regent Elith has passed away. I was expecting that. With the control of Elith in doubt, the crown it falls on the crown to make a decision. Young Lord Adar will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Orissi, the Duchess of Lilla, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. 
almost the entire eastern border. I don't know anything bad about her, though. The boy doesn't have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar. Or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. Talk to the late regent of the Gala about what he wanted for his son's future. Said that he should stay with his stepmother or his stepsister, Adel. Would be a less politically dangerous choice. But also definitely not to give Adir to his grandfather. So I guess it's, it's, that's what his... That's what the grandpa wanted, right? Give him to Adele? Give him rolling in the deep? I think that seems like the, the solid solid way to go. Adelaide. Rolling in the deep. When you can't get the steep. Everyone gets to go. And then you rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. Let him stay with his family, but instead of Arisi, give the regency to his stepsister, Adelaide. They've grown up together, she's old enough for the responsibility. She doesn't have a title of her own, and is more likely to be loyal to Ellet's interests. A clever compromise. Thank you. Cheerful. Okay, so I need to be a little bit more willful. You know, just a little bit. Um... Yeah. Sneaking out for a little bit, that, that seems good. Be slightly less willful. Look at that, we're good. So I wonder, can I do composure in the morning and then presence in the evening? That will work. Okay, let's do it. We really want to get into that thing. Let's do it. Positive thinking, maintaining a good self-image, and condition yourself to carry on rather than be frustrated. You practice sitting calmly while your teacher circles around you and makes unexpected loud noises at random intervals. Boo! You unlocked a new outfit. Practice focusing your attention on an individual as you pass, letting them feel a brief connection with you before you formally acknowledge them with a nod. You practice being aware of your environment, seeing everything as it transpires around you and feeling that you are in control of it. I have the presence. There's a woman here to see you. She's a musician and which is crown patronage, which means no money. Your Royal Highness, if you will accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you with word and song. I have dabbled in your musical styles for many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Intrigue successful. Often useful as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. She's actually pretty good. Instrument and voice failed. It's the Patreon. We gotta become patrons herself. Take the bard. Always with the bard. Sorry, no democracy. We get a bard. Um, oh yeah. Let's do it. Visit the treasury. They waver slow. What? But I have so much command presence. My presence is so high. How high do I have to get it? This is tyranny. Oh. Uh. Accounting? I have to have accounting, too? What's my new outfit? Ah, royal demeanor! It's probably good. Yeah, let's try the accounting then, I guess. Presence needs to be over 9,000. Um... So, oh yeah, let's let's take a fucking thing in accounting, I guess. Fucking accounting. And so what mood will make accounting better? Someone look that up if you will. We got to figure out what mood we need to get to. With our robes on, we have almost 70 presents. We could do it now. Can we do it with presents alone if we just keep getting presents? You need presence or accounting, not both. Okay. 
Let's try a little bit more presence then with the thing and see how that works. Unless I'm not... I'm not losing. No, I still have... Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh, sure, we'll save game while we're at it. Name your save. Test. Let's do some horse riding in our princess gown. The different pieces that go into saddles and bridles, etc. You practice giving commandments to the castle staff, neither asking nor demanding, but telling them what needs to be done. As long as you believe it to be true, they will as well. You receive a letter from young Lord Adir. It's a bit messy and hard to read, but he seems to be thanking you for letting him stay with the family he knows. Hey, that's cool. Okay, let's go! Yes! You order the guards to stand aside and walk forward with your head held high. None of them dares to deny you access to your own treasury. The glitter is dazzling, but some sixth sense draws you towards the little locked box. This is what you need! This is the crystal that will make you a lumen. You tuck the box into your pocket. You could show it to your mentor later and get instructions on what to do next. We did it, chat! We're gonna be magical! Um, what else do we do while we're here? We probably want some more, or can we already... No, we can't do Lumen until we show it to her. Okay. Um... Let's see. Well, right now we've got a thing to expression and... And a little bit to... Oh, wait. No. Um... Okay. So we've got expression. Let's do that. Uh, let's learn some instruments so we can appreciate the bard skills a little better. The other thing is either animal handling or military. Oh, we've got the enemy animal handling high. We might as well do that while it's high. But do we do dogs or falcons? We need to get a little bit more of both. People wanted falcons before. What do you say, royal council? Learn to be the falconer? Falconer princess, falconer princess, running all around with the stuff and stuff. You tap out chiming didads on the glockenspiel, learning the basics of harmony and rhythm. You visit the muse and learn different kinds of trainable birds, their preferred nesting sites, behavior, and food. Your agents report a buildup of military strength, particularly warships in Shangja, a major power across the ocean to the west. They may be intending to go on an attack. Oh, we should learn more naval history. They've been growing larger in recent years. Great distance from Nova. You have few diplomatic ties and no known conflict. There's no reason to assume you would be their target. Still, if they send a fleet across the ocean, Nova might be in danger. At the very least, shipping would be disrupted. It takes time to assemble a worthy vessel, and you have to advance warning. The downside is they won't come cheap. Build more warships or do nothing. We did raise taxes, and that bard can't be that expensive. I say we build... Well, they're kind of far away, though. We're not really on the ocean. Build more warships. War? Warships? Seems like everyone wants more warships. Welcome to World of Warships. Assembly and the strengthening of weaponry, cladding the existing fleet. If trouble comes, you'll be ready for it. Okay, we go back and talk to the Duchess. I got it! What do I do now? Pick up the crystal with your bare hands. Press it against your chest over your heart and say, Illuminate! Do it? Should we do it? We've been wanting to do it, right? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Illuminate! Moon prism power! <laughs> We're full and sure you'll feel dizzy, larger and lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. 
Wow. The priest is here is a friend of mine. I will come to your lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. I did it. I got all sorts of, um, um, I'm cheerful. I'm a cheerful girl. What can I say? Uh, we want to boost our faith, right? What do I need to be better at Lumen, though, is the question. Willful? Okay. So we must learn the power of will. First, though, um, we gotta, we'll gotta we do our horses. Not our horses, but our... Hmm. I think we need more conversation. We've got big bonuses to it right now. That and royal demeanor. This will boost our royal demeanor so we get better at it. Oh, uh, let's see. What do we want to get past 50? Probably composure. We need to keep our composure under pressure. As for conversations, that could be... Well, we haven't done any flattery. Probably get some flattery. Just a little bit. Oops. Oh wait, we can lumen already. Uh, we'll do we'll do one more. We'll get one thing of flattery, and then we'll we'll lumen. We gotta make ourselves more willful. At your command, your teacher strikes your palm with a leather twist. You learn to bear the sting. You lie on a couch and try to remain relaxed while your teacher smacks your heels with a leather toss. It's a weird teacher. He just beats the shit out of you. You just have to be like, hmm. You learn it's important to make eye contact when saying nice things about someone. Chat, you're very pretty. My lady, there is a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem describing you in a manner that is entirely inappropriate for a queen. I what? With a squid? Is that hilarious or terrible, chat? Hilarious or terrible. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Gotta learn to roll, roll with your punches. Both, to be honest. That's actually pretty funny. Incredibly unlucky breeze twirls between the windows of your tower, tugging the paper out of your hands as it falls into the sky. You stick your head out the window to discover the poem caught the fluttering of a roof nearby. You almost reach it. Oh, uh, we're just gonna ignore it, right? Our climbing is zero. I am not going out on the roof. That's fine. Other people can see it. I don't care. Blows off and someone reads it and laughs at you? That's better than breaking your neck. Exactly. The rain will wash away the words. You'll be fine. Okay, so I need to be willful, right? So sneaking out will make me will willful. Yeah. Double willful. Yeah. I've got it. It's got to be a little bit more depressed too. Um okay, we've got the lumen baby. I think we're going to spend all our time doing Lumen magic, right? Which two do we pick? Give me two. S for sense magic. R for resist magic. W for wield magic. Probably better. Okay, let's try it. You close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. You increase your awareness of your own thoughts and emotions, making it more difficult for mind-affecting magic to twist your reactions. My lady, there are letters for you! Another letter from Bryony. Why does she keep writing me? We're never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely and looking forward to seeing me at Gwendol's birthday party. That's right, Gwendol is about to turn 15. She'll be the Duchy of Sudbury for real now. This other letter must be my invitation to the birthday celebration. 
Gwenelle and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but there's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Go to Sudbury. I feel like... I feel like we need to stay at home and practice our magic. I don't think we have time for parties. Not when there's there's uh, the world to conquer. But what do you say? Go to the party, send your regards. Be nice. If being nice gets me killed before I get magical powers, I'm going to be upset. It'll be good to see my friends. Um, I need to be more depressed. Um, how do I make myself depressed? Minus one cheerful. That probably seems like the best route to go. Yeah, let's just minus one cheerful. Okay. Um, yeah, sense magic, resist magic. Let's do it. All magic classes all the time. You practice using small amounts of magic and feeling the power outside yourself. Your mentor summons up magical energies to strike the nearby ground so that you can learn to sense someone else's spells. You learn to consciously project a magical field through your thoughts, blocking out outside magic from touching your mind, but only when you have the energy to consciously resist. You gain an age resistance to light and dark. You can now see in the blackest caves or stare at the sun without going blind. On your journey to Sadbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits! Archery and reflexes failed. Look down at the shock of the arrow which has buried itself in your side. Outside you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around the pain. You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You hear a story somewhere about pushing arrows through the body, so you brace yourself and give a shove. This only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning a painful wound into a fatal one. I told you not to go to no damn parties! This is what you get for having me go to parties. We could have had magical powers. Instead, we get arrowed. You would not survive to reach your coronation. Nova would go on without you. It doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and her star may rise again. Yup. Took an arrow to the side. Super Sloth did say my first death would be shot by an arrow. Fortunately, I couldn't dodge. Good thing you saved. Well, no, you gotta start over. Can't pretend. There's no save scumming. Change your outfit to pass the divination. Was there a divination check? Could have thrown your own party with the, the thing. Shot by an arrow is a rite of passage. Well, either way, that was a fun first playthrough. Thank you again to Super Sloth, Super, Uber Super Sloth for requesting this. It was certainly a fun time. A bit longer than I thought. We spent a little over two hours doing that. You'll have to let me know if this was interesting, if you liked the, the democratic portion of it, and let me know if you'd like to see more episodes of this. Maybe without chat where I'm just making decisions. Or if you, you know, it was a fun thing, but you're, you're kind of fine with it for now. I died to arrows nine times. It's hazardous being a princess. <laughs> a bit too complicated. It's only really not that complicated. Just choosing some stuff. It's, it's a pretty nice, pretty, pretty enjoyable game, I'd say. I might play this on my own. Just something, it's something I can do while I'm editing because it takes like no reflexes whatsoever. You're literally just reading and choosing things at your own pace, so it's very slow-paced. I, I quite like it. The arrow wasn't in the knee? No. It was in the gut, and then because we didn't learn literally anything about field medicine, we're like, oh, the arrows have to go through, right? And she shoved it into her gut? 
Which, like, that whole arrows have to go through, that's, I believe, um, only in relation to, like, arrows that have, like, punctured your arm. Like, if the arrowhead is sticking out, you don't want to pull it back through. You want to pull the rest of it out. If it's punctured you entirely, or, like, going through your shoulder or whatever. It's on Switch 2, by the way. Yeah, so check that out. I'll be back probably at some point. Either way, thank you for coming. Thanks for helping me try to not die by an arrow. And until next time, good luck and have fun.